My name is Dan Fabrizio and I'm the co-writer and director of A Distant Grief. My passion for this project began in 1990 when I read this book, A Distant Grief, written by Kefa Simpunji and Barbara Thompson. I was preparing for my first trip to Uganda and my friend Dr. Henry Krabendam told me that anyone who visits Uganda must read this book. This book has changed my life in many ways. It opened my eyes to the pure evil of Idi Amin, but even more to the fact that his darkness could not extinguish the light of the Ugandan people. I thought then, when I first read it, that A Distant Grief would make a great movie. It took me many years to make contact with Kefa, but when I did, we immediately hit it off and made plans to write a screenplay. In 2010, I received a sabbatical from the Art Institute of Seattle, where I teach, and spent three months in Uganda writing the screenplay with Kefa, as well as teaching Ugandan students about film and television. Since then, I've been shopping the script, hoping to find a producer who would take a chance on the story. It is an amazing story with a predominantly black cast, and one that doesn't fit into the formula mode of most movies coming out of Hollywood. After numerous rejections without anyone reading the script, I decided that we needed to produce this movie ourselves as an independent film. A Distant Grief is a true story chronicling the escape to freedom of Kefa and his family from Idi Amin's assassins who were systematically murdering thousands of people in Uganda. In the early 1970s, Kefa was a professor, artist, and pastor in Uganda. His story is a first-hand account of the suffering and triumphs of people who have been persecuted because of their faith. Many of you have heard of Idi Amin and the atrocities that he committed, but very few have heard the real story, including how he came to power and the motivation behind his dictatorship. A Distant Grief is told from Kefa's eyewitness accounts. A Distant Grief is a life-changing story, and as a movie, it will have a powerful impact throughout the world. I believe this film will touch your heart and introduce you to an amazing culture that truly understands what it is like to live by faith and not by sight. Thank you for clicking on to this website, and I invite you to read this book. It will open your eyes in many ways. Don't forget to check out our pre-trailer for the movie. With the help of my colleague Ken Rowe and Art Institute students and friends, we were able to give you a glimpse of what's to come in A Distant Grief, the movie. Thank you for your support. Kefa, you are not the Messiah. You are not in charge of my vineyard. You are only one small worker, and this is the task that I have for you. This is the child I want you to help. On my way to this meeting, I passed five dead bodies. What's the point of talking about the future? We may be all dead soon. When I started killing people, it was hard at first, but then it became easier. Once you kill one person, you can go on forever. There is so much guilt, you cannot stop. You cannot admit that you hate yourself, and that you have done terrible things. The humble poor know a deep secret they give from themselves and not from their surplus. They give from the abundance of their hearts. As the soldiers continued to kick him, no one stopped to help, including me. I realized that there is a boundary beyond which everything is a senseless chasm. It is here in the nightmare of utter chaos that human feelings die. It is here where death and terror seem to have full dominion, that even the deepest of human sorrows becomes but a distant grief.